Hey guys, all right, so if you remember on our last video, uh, the shop was very, very, very dirty. I just wanna show that I spent a good few hours, oh, an hour and a half, cleaning everything up, kinda of getting everything organized, put away, getting everything where it needs to be. It's much easier to work when everything's in order. So um, anyways, let's go get the Dodge. We're gonna pull it in and we're gonna start doing the shocks. All right guys, so we got our new shocks. <clears throat> these are the rears and these are the fronts because they got the stud. So um, yes, they are rough country. The reason why I bought rough country so shocks is because inevitably I want to upgrade the suspension and I wanna go to a zone five inch lift but um, when I was ordering all my parts, uh, it just got to where I was already up like $1,800. And I was just like, you know what? We'll just go cheap on shocks for now. It's better than nothing. So that's why we have these. So I'm going to get under the truck. I'm going to set the camera up and then uh, you get to watch me do the rears. Oh, those are
dead shock looks like. That shock is dead. So this might be kind of hard to do, to hold it and do the stuff where y'all can see everything. So I'm just gonna tell you kind of what I'm doing. There's three bolts. There's one here, one here, one on the other side. You loosen these three, and then there's a, a bolt on the bottom, which is right there. That's on the bottom of the, see where the shock is, see how it goes through. Down there, that bolt, you're gonna loosen that bolt, and you're gonna loosen those three at the top. This whole thing is going to slide right out the top, right up in here. So, uh, basically, it's the exact same procedure for both sides. And uh, I'll show you what the shock assembly looks like when I get it out. Basically, the exact opposite. This one, I actually took the nut off because this one, I took the nut off because the master cylinder is in the way. So, this little deal. So you just take this nut that off and this will slide off out of the way and then you can slide the shock out without it causing issues and then uh let's put the new ones in hey guys all right so it's been about a little over an hour i mean maybe a little less maybe 30 minutes i don't know it's been a while but um here you go here's that one done tight this one i was allowed to keep the little tower on the other side wasn't happening but there's that it's all nice and new and then uh here's where the bolt goes through now see that nut on the back side so what i actually had to do was i had to stick my fingers through here and hold that nut in place and you can see the tabs right there see that tab so you just hold the nut and then you use your impact on this side and uh, tighten it up. Make sure you don't pinch your fingers. But that's it. So that's how it's done. Now for the other side, I had a little bit bigger of an issue. Um, it wouldn't go down into the axle. It wouldn't go down into this. Let me see. 
it wouldn't go down in there. Uh, it wouldn't go down in there. So I took a, uh, I have a flat wheel sanding disc and I just shaved a couple thousandths off of the two eyelet sides and it dropped right back in and then tightened it up. So we're done. Uh, got the front is done. Hope you liked this video. Um, our next plan is that we're going to do a new steering gear that I ordered from Detroit Axle. It's already here. We're going to do a steering gear and we're going to do a steering brace. I want to try to show how bad it is and then um, show the repair. So anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you like it and uh, we'll see you on the next one.